All right. In this video, we are going to discuss indices, and we are going to discuss some of the basic properties of indices. So let's start from the basics. Let's suppose that you have uh, written a statement that six x to the power four. Then we call six as a coefficient. 4 as power or you can say that it's an exponent and x is your variable or you can say that it's your base so in indices we are going to discuss some of the properties of variable or base all right so property number 1 it says that when you have same bases when you have same bases and they are multiplying so you need to add their powers so now it will be x to the power 4 plus 5 implies that x to the power 9 so it's very simple when you have same bases and they are multiplying you need to add their powers similarly if it says that x square y cube multiplied by x into y square equals to what now we have 2x here and we have 1x here so total we have 3x so it will be x to the power 3 for y we have 3y here and 2y here so total y is 5 so that is first property of indices that if you have same bases same variable right and they are multiplying so you need to add their powers that is the first and the basic property for property number 2 if you have same bases right if you have same bases but instead of multiplying they are dividing so you need to subtract their power so it will be x to the power 5 minus 3 implies that x to the power 2 you can see that the variable or the power after the division sign it changes its sign what does it mean let's suppose that you have y to the power 3 divided by y to the power minus 5 if i write the expression in fraction form so it will be y to the power cube divided by y to the power minus 5 now when you shift minus 5 in the numerator so how you are going to write it will be y to the power 3 in the numerator minus because of division sign and minus 5 the power in the denominator so now it will be y to the power 3 plus 5 implies that y to the power 8 so if you have a negative power it changes its sign when you shift it in the numerator and it will be an addition furthermore <clears throat> if you have a whole power like if it's x to the power 3 multiplied by whole power 4 now keep in mind that power multiplies with power so that will be equals to x to the power 12 3 4 are 12 so if you have power with the power so you need to multiply those two powers furthermore if you have more than one variable in a bracket and there is a whole power so now you can write it that a square with the power 3 on it and b cube with the power 3 on it so it will be a to the power 6 and b to the power 9 what i am supposed to explain here that whole power applies to all the individual quantities present inside that bracket similarly if you say that 2a square b and whole power q now that power 3 outside the bracket applies on all these three terms so if i write it separately it will be 2 to the power 3 all right multiply a square already here and whole power q multiply b is here and whole power q so now it will be 2 cube is 8 a power multiply with the power so it's a 6 and b 1 3 are 3 so that is your answer all right property number 4 i label it as reciprocal property all right reciprocal property basically in this property we cannot solve the negative powers example let's suppose that you have 2 to the power minus 3 now you cannot solve it to solve it you need to apply the reciprocate property and what does it property says in the denominator of 2 if there is no number so it means that a is 1 already present 
now you need to flip that fraction all right you need to flip that fraction so how you are going to write it it will be 1 divided by 2 and when you sh flip that uh, fraction the power changes its sign so that will be equals to 1 to the power 8 all right further if it says that 3 divided by 4 whole power minus 2 since the power having the sign of negative you cannot solve it for that purpose you need to apply the reciprocal property that means now you need to flip your fraction so it's 4 divided by 3 and whole power is 2 so now it's 16 divided by 9 that is your answer property number 5 anything with zero power all right zero power it means that it is equals to one any number example now let's suppose you have two to the power zero is equals to one you have a cube b power two and whole power zero equals to one you have nine power two and whole square equals to it will be one so whatever you have inside the bracket if you have that power zero it always equals to one 